Mil Steve, Mil Steve, Steve, Kanye, Kanye. What's up, guys? This is your boy Yak checking in. Yak, 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 yak. This is the Lipstick and Cognac Show. You're a host of all things relationship. Everybody has to set the table. Now, if you're a ruler, rainbow, or a unicorn, again, I'm your boy Yak. Lipstick will be here, so he's not going anywhere. But if you, if this is your first time, you guys are tuning in. Can you please drop a red heart? If you are returning, please drop a black heart. Also, come in with CD watching us from guys. Would like to read that as well. And also. You can follow this dynamic duo on Instagram at Lipstick and Cognac, on Facebook, Lipstick and Cognac page, on YouTube, Lipstick and Cognac, and on Twitter, Lipstick underscore Cognac. And it's going to be a good day, good show today. It's got a good show today, guys. We have a chef in the building from um, New Orleans. It's going to be very nice. Okay, and today's topic is going to be being married to your business partner. Is there a healthy way to mix business and pleasure? That's really good to me because I feel like being married, I won't want to mix business and pleasure, actually. I really will just want to keep that separate because for me, <laughs> I'm going to be really honest and keep 100. When I, so me and my bae live together, right? And I think that time apart is very, very important. And now that I did leave my corporate American job and I do this full time, it's a break. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't think I could work with my bae. I mean, because he doesn't have that mental, that mental thing that's go away. Be like, oh, like, I see you every day. Not that it's a bad thing. It's not bad. Like, you love them. But, like, sometimes you just need that woo side. Like, I don't want to, to be honest, you still got to make time for your bae. You got to make time for your business. I feel like when you mix the two, it's no time for anyone because it's always going to be business and work that y'all work together. Like, can you just imagine working together with your bae? Like, if you want to watch this, can you please come in? Would you want to work with your boyfriend, a girlfriend, a husband, a wife? Like, let me know that. And also, I want to get a good shout-out to Entrepreneur Prom that we did this past weekend. Thank you for inviting us. Listen, to coming to that red carpet event where she celebrated her 600 trademarks. That's really important. If you need the trademarks done, please go see the biz lawyer. All right, guys, we want to take a quick recess break. Stay tuned to Rona.com slash something cognac. Or keep watching on Roll Out Facebook's page. Ow. With customizable streaming TV from Xfinity, watch the most free TV shows, hit movies, and live sports on the go. At home, access Netflix, YouTube, and Pandora right from your TV. And with the X1 Voice Remote, just say it and see it. Show me HBCU. With Black Film and TV, watch your favorite college entertainment, HBCU football games, and much more. Xfinity. Simple, easy, awesome.
What's up, guys? This is your boy Yak, a.k.a. Yak the Yak with Listing and Cognac Show. You're a host of Adult Conversation where we talk about all things relationship to the Matthew Ruler, Rainbow, or Unicorn. And today we have a ruler today. We have Chef <laughs> Darrell in the building. Can we get a hand clap for Chef Darrell, please? Hey, welcome to the show, glad man. Glad to be here. Glad to be here. I'm Absolutely. glad to have you. Glad to have you. So tell the people about yourself so they get to know who you All are. All right. Well, I'm Chef Darrell Johnson. I'm recently the winner of the Great Food Truck Race on Food Network. Okay. Um, I've been a restaurateur for 25 years. Worked with some of the great chefs like Emma Lagasse, cooked in Paris, uh, cooked in England, uh, certified executive chef. Um, been around. Been around the block a while. Okay. So what school did you go to? The Cordon Bleu. So the people who don't know that, because I don't know that, what is that school? So the Cordon <laughs> was the premier culinary institute in the world. Um, but as the time went on, there were other avenues to come uh, available to people. Okay. And went by the wayside, you know. So Cordon Bleu was the spot, but now there are the other institutes right now. So this is a great, was a great culinary inspiration, was a great uh, place to learn. Um, but like I said, got some different places now. Okay, so tell me about having a food truck. How was that? It is a hustle. It is. I mean, if, <laughs> if, if you can talk that talk and walk that walk, go for it. You know, so, but it's a hustle, man. I mean, you have to really go out and grind and get those people. Mm -hmm. You know, so being on a great food truck was really kind of brought it to the forefront. Okay. You know, we had a great team. Uh, myself, my sous chef, Terrell Gaston, um, and my wife. My wife was my premier marketer. You know, she was um, the one who kind of wrecked around the people, so I cooked the food. Okay. Okay, so your wife is just like the behind the scenes person who made the connection. Well, no, she was up front too. She oh, was front out, too. Out, okay, outside the truck, calling, yelling, screaming. Hey, come on over here. Okay. All righty. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So she was out front. She was the one calling, singing the song, doing the dance. There was time when I came out front. You know, there was one episode when she was a little down, a little tired. I came out like Superman, had an S on my chest and got it going, you know, so. Okay. Um, but, yeah, she was a really integral part of what we did. So, I see you got on Nola the Saints. I'm a Saints fan as well. I'm from Gopher, Mississippi. Okay. So. Oh, yeah, so man. we family. Yeah, absolutely. So, what type of food you cook? What people don't All know? New Orleans style. Etouffee, jambalaya. Okay. Shrimp old boy, shrimp creole, uh, beignets. World's best beignets, might I add. World, he said world best. <laughs> the whole world, Craig. The whole world. Okay, so today's topic, so this is a good topic because with your wife. Mm -hmm. Being married to your business partner, is there a healthy way to mix business and pleasure? How do you feel about that? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say that? Well, it, it has to be boundaries. It has to be limits. Mm -hmm. It has to be kind of set rules in place. When you have those set rules in place and specific roles, it works. But they always cross over. Prime example, my wife is also my manager, you know, so oh. she's my business partner in the creation, and she has a management company. She manages chefs and writers, things like that. So um, she is my business partner and my manager and my wife. So sometimes the wife gets mad at the talent, and then the manager gets mad at the chef, and then nobody has to happen in the house, you know, so. I'm glad you spoke of that because I know how many children do you have? We have five kids. So you have a whole, you have a food truck, mm -hmm. you have your wife who's your business partner, you have five kids. What's mm -hmm. the ages range from? My oldest is 22. Okay, okay. The youngest is five. Oh, y'all started over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And was it lonely in the house? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I really like my wife. I really like my wife. <laughs> but that's a good thing. That's not bad. And how long y'all been married? 22 years, December. So it is such thing as back love, people. 22 years. Absolutely. Okay? Well, you can do it. Yes. Okay, let me make sure. So give me one example. What some things y'all do to separate the business from pleasure? Well, um, one thing we do is once the door closes on the bedroom, that's it. No more business talk. You Good. Know, it's us, you know, we can talk about anything else but business. That's kind of my rule. When we lay down, no more business, you know. And it's tempting because sometimes you might get an email or a phone yeah. call, but all that has to stop. So that's kind of a basic rule. Okay. Um, and then, two, we kind of separate what's business time and what's family time. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's a clear de designation of that, you know. So making sure that when it's business hours, we do business. But she works from home. Okay. You know, so when it's business hours, she does business. I do mm -hmm. business. When it's okay. time for family, all that stops. You know, so at a certain point, we cut our phones off, the laptops go away, computers shut down, it's family time. So how do y'all juggle the kids? We have some really, really great kids. <laughs> I can honestly say that, man. We have some really great kids. You know, my five-year-old, the daughter, the last one, she's a handful. Um, mm -hmm. But my, my oldest son is 22. He works. He lives with his girlfriend. You know, so he's out of the house. Okay. The next one is 17. He's a senior, no, junior in high school. Um, he's always gone. And then my 11-year-old, he's a, he's a gamer. So he wants to be on the game. And okay. Home, so he's fine. Then my nine-year-old, she's a baby doll kind of. So <laughs> Which is nothing kids. wrong with that. There's right. nothing wrong with that. Because now, yo, we have social media. And I'm like, mm. 
I'm not gonna add you to my Facebook. Right. We keep, <laughs> we keep kids, kids, man. And I, I and I feel like that's so important because mm-hmm. it's so much on today's media. That's a whole nother topic. Right. Right. Okay. So, what were some of the struggles that you feel like that you wish out that anybody who watching that you feel like that you helped somebody, like so, you were nipped in the bug in the beginning. As far as my wife and I, just is, yes. Okay, so We're doing the business, doing the business. So I am the clear cut, unadulterated leader mm-hmm. when she lets me. You know, so yeah. um, it's one thing that that we have to really understand is that where the boundaries lie. You know, mm-hmm. what's her expertise? What's my expertise? You know, she has an MBA, so a business side of it that she's really great at. It. Now I mm-hmm. got some business sense too, of course, but I acquiesce to her in those things. Creative side, that's all me. Don't tell me to put my gumbo. Don't tell me to put my red beans. I got that part. <laughs> you go crush the numbers. You, know? so, um, you make sure it's selling. <laughs> yeah, that's all you do. But having those clear defined lines, man, really, really makes a, a big difference. Okay, so if you can name three things with starting a business, what were the three things you would tell our viewers today? Number one, you had to have a passion for it. Okay. Because it's going to be hard. Okay. It's not going to be easy. You have to have a passion for it and really, really love what you're doing. Number one. Number two, your, your dream can never fund your lifestyle. So have a backup plan for how you can maintain your standard of living. Now, if you're 16, 17, live with your parents, go for it. But most people start business in their mid-30s, early 20s. They have bills already, maybe student loans. So you have to have some kind of form of financing to support your lifestyle because your business is too new. You can't mm-hmm. put money out too early. So have that to support yourself. And then lastly, really have a great team behind you. You can't do it alone. You cannot. So do you hire a family? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> um, I am a pretty straightforward. I don't put sugar on top of it. I don't sugarcoat it. I'm okay. just the guy that's going to tell you how it is. It's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad. You know? okay. So a lot of times family really um, really want to kind of push the envelope and be like, hey, cousin, hey, uncle, I know I messed up, but nah, you got to go. So, I mean, no nepotism here. You got to earn your keep. Okay, so being that you and your wife are both very busy, do you think that children feel like they miss out on anything? Not at all. I've coached my, my two older boys in football um, their entire lives. Okay. Up in high school. You know, I coached high school football for a little bit. It's about time management. You always have time with danger foot first. You know, mm-hmm. so we all, in this two-parent home, so it makes a difference. We can divide and conquer. She can take two kids this way. I can take two kids that way. You know, we can kind of balance it off. Okay. So how's doing the homework with the kids? I don't do homework. <laughs> <laughs> that's not my thing. Again, clear the fine roads. My <laughs> wife does the homework. That's her okay. lane. She's the okay. student one. I will get all the masters wrong. They got this new <laughs> Mac coming out right now. I don't know. You know, I, I'm, that's not me. Okay. Okay, so let me ask you this. So what are some romantic spots that you and your wife go to just to get away with child time? So one of our favorite things, this is one of my favorite things to do, is to rent a hotel room somewhere. Mm-hmm. All right, and just do get a blanket, some candles, uh, make a nice meal, do an indoor picnic. Okay. You know, so we just kind of get some music going and we dance. And when you're married for 22 years, anything away from the kids is a blessing. It's a blessing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but we had a chance to do a great food race together. So we were out these wonderful cities from mm-hmm. uh, Murder Beach all the way down to Key West, just us two. You know, so I mean, we could have fun if we trapped inside a shoebox. You can lock us in this room right here, we're going to have fun. We really enjoy each other. You know, that's one mm-hmm. thing that I really say. She's been a, the. the Ketchup on my french fries, the syrup on my pancakes, the butter on my biscuit. You know what I mean? You that know? is so nice. <laughs> <laughs> that is so nice. I absolutely love my <laughs> wife, you know. Has building your business helped or enhance your marriage? Um, It hurt at times. Okay. It absolutely hurt at times because I'm, I'm pretty good at what I do. My okay. wife is pretty good at what she does. You know, and initially in the beginning, um, we had, didn't have those two fine roads. So it, everything was kind of crossing over, and she's in my space, and I'm in her space, and the tension – uh, brewed over the house, you know, so I mean, we really had to take a step back because initially when I first started my business, I had a great job, six figure, I was a restaurant guy, all the big chains hired me to consult and all the big chains hired me to come and fix their restaurants. So I left that through my own restaurant. So it, as any good wife or mother say, what about the bills? You know, so <laughs> that kind of, you know, kind of brought things, you know, to a head a little bit. But she's always been my, my vision caster. I'm a visionary. And she's always been to support me, help me through things. Okay. In the beginning, how did you define your roles with your bi- within your business? The first mistake I made was doing it all myself. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So, and uh, a wise guy once said, African proverb, many hands make light work. You know, so that's when I brought my wife into the fold. She wasn't originally part of the business. Okay. You know, so I, I brought her into the fold and said, hey, I need help. I need you to do these things. You know, and then she started taking those things and adding to it and added to it. But um, we eventually um, kind of got things worked out. 
Okay, we'll say that thought right there. Hey, guys, we're going to take a quick recess break. Stay tuned to rollnight.com slash lift, take, and cognac. Arm lock, fix, pay, cover, coming up next. Ow. With customizable streaming TV from Xfinity, watch the most free TV shows, hit movies, and live sports on the go. At home, access Netflix, YouTube, and Pandora right from your TV. And with the X1 Voice Remote, just say it and see it. Show me HBCU. With Black Film and TV, watch your favorite college entertainment, HBCU football games, and much more. Xfinity. Simple, easy, awesome. 30 million people have been diagnosed with diabetes and 75 million with high blood pressure. Let's talk about the importance of cleaning the blood. 50 years of scientific research have shown that garlic, when taken in the right amount, can help to lower blood pressure, sugar level, and cholesterol, all while providing energy. How? Through cleansing, regulating, and replenishing the blood. Garlic alone is powerful, but for over 41 years, we've discovered that by combining garlic, aloe, and parsley together, we help the body to clean the blood even better. You can clean excess sugar, cholesterol, and waste from the blood and promote better circulation. So don't delay. Do it today. Get your bottle of Gap Pills. Normally sells for $49.95. But if you use the promo word health, you get $10 off. Visit us at allohills.com or call us at 404-996-6942. With customizable streaming TV from Xfinity, watch the most free TV shows, hit movies, and live sports on the go. At home, access Netflix, YouTube, and Pandora right from your TV. And with the X1 Voice Remote, just say it and see it. Show me HBCU. With Black Film and TV, watch your favorite college entertainment, HBCU football games, and much more. Xfinity. Simple, easy, awesome. Thank you for tuning in to Lipstick and Cognac, your host of Adult Conversation with an Alternative Twist, a judgment-free zone where we discuss all things relationships, hey. no matter if you are a ruler, a rainbow, or, or a, a unicorn. unicorn. And we have a ruler today with 22 years of marriage. Get another hand clap for black love. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Today's topic is being married to your business partner. Is there a healthy way to mix business with pleasure? And before we no. get into that, we want to make sure that you guys... <laughs> Follow us on all of our social media. That is Lipstick and Cognac on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook, as well as Lipstick underscore Cognac on Twitter. Twitter. Well, we have 22 followers. Oh, we done jumped up. <laughs> Jumping okay. up. Like Coming Weezy. up in the world. <laughs> and it's your girl, Lipstick. I know you're listening on the first half. However, we have been with the chef, Mike. As he told me, <laughs> Daryl Johnson, <laughs> Chef Daryl. Hey, introduce yourself again for the people. People, I am Chef Daryl Johnson. I am she. I'm people. Oh, hey, people, how you doing? <laughs> chef Daryl Johnson, uh, native New Orleanian. Um, uh, been a chef twenty five plus years. Love it, love it. This is what I do. This is who I am. Um, Food Network alum. Uh, married for ever. Um, so twenty two years of uh, being this, this December. Okay, so how old were you when you got married? Okay, my one. Okay. <laughs> I was eight. I was he eighteen. Was eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all got married. Oh, young. Yeah. So we oh, um, wow. were. Um, oh man, funny story. So we first met in a restaurant. She oh. Didn't, she did not like me at all. She tried to hook me with a friend, and I would run behind her, and she like try to get me with a friend. And then, I, then I, our very first day, I remember what she had on. She had on a, a Rocky Maivia T-shirt <laughs> and some uh, khaki shorts. And we walked to the uh, CD store, to Odyssey Records. And we bought a CD. Benny Siegel, the truth was our CD we bought. Hey. And we went back to my apartment. We played our CD. And we, you know. He had a apartment at 18. You know, hold on. You know. What's the you know? I mean, we did what grown folks did. You know? oh, okay. Well, Benny Siegel got it in. Yeah. Making babies. That's what y'all <laughs> deceived our first child. Yeah. Yeah. So she <laughs> came. Wow. She became pregnant. And I married her. Oh, wow. And I married her. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I knew she was the one. Another okay. story. Okay. Real quick, so um, I had a poem when I was 17. You know, okay. I had a poem when I was in high school, and uh, of course, they had girls come through high school, whatever. They would come clean up, no biggie. Well, she came and cleaned up, and I went to work, came back. All my stuff was gone all my clothes, my sh- sh- my uh, underwear, my side, everything. I'm like, did she ride me? Hold on, what's going <laughs> on? You know, but she packed up all my dirty clothes and some clean ones, but 
need here nor there, and caught the bus to her mom's house. And her mom took her to the washeterium. She washed all my clothes. She folded them. Aww. Got back on the bus, came back to my house. I walked to the bus stop and met her. She came back with all my clothes up. I said, yeah, I'm keeping them. That's how you get I'm a man her. for the single women in the back. You said she didn't like it. That was a quick <laughs> you, know, you, know, you put it down like 300 pounds, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> you put that thing down. <laughs> you know. What you need me to do? <laughs> <laughs> yes, daddy, I'm mm. doing it. Oh, yeah. If she oh, grin, I'm in, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, today's topic is mixing business and pleasure. So, basically, his wife works with him. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, okay. I was just asking him, how does that work? And I want to ask you, have you ever fired your wife before? Oh, every day. <laughs> Twice on Sunday. <laughs> Twice on Sunday. My wife is very, very smart. I, I was telling my man here that she has an MBA. She's working a PhD. Oh, um, wow. And sometimes she's too smart for her own good. I you understand know? that. I get what you're saying. And I have a degree in psychology. So um, I also know the inner workings of the human brain. So oh, wow. she comes from a more of an analytical standpoint where I come from more of an abstract standpoint. And the two always bum heads in everything we do. I would love to be a fly on the wall in that argument. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, she's stating straight facts and numbers, and I'm like, well, I feel, you know, <laughs> I think, you know. So, I mean, it's one of those things where. That sounds like me and Connie. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> We're both sides of the coin. But it brings balance, though. That's one thing I really, really love about it because I'm more long term and she's more short term, and it brings that balance to us where we can kind of pleasure each other and get things together quickly. Okay. Well, we, I think I came in on the end of the tail end of a question that you asked, right? Yes, yes, yes. So in the beginning, I asked, how did you define your roles within your business? In the beginning, it was just me. My wife was not <laughs> a part of it because I did not want her to be a part of it um, because we didn't agree on stuff. So, I mean, this, this, is, this is my wife's philosophy. When she's right, she's right. When uh-huh. she's wrong, she's still right because you could have been right, so not really wrong. That's women in general. <laughs> no, it's not. I admit that I'm wrong. Girl. <laughs> I'm just rarely wrong. Cut the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help if I'm always right. <laughs> but no, I, I digress. <laughs> <laughs> about me, this is you and your wife. <laughs> you know, but I tried to do a whole lot by myself, and I got overwhelmed. I even got sick, you know, and uh, my wife, of course, came to my rescue, and she came and cracked the whip and got things running tight, and, um, and she's a great business leader. You know, so but um, more of the creative side, more of the people side, more of the the relationship side. That's me. You okay. Know? So um, uh, she's able to look at numbers and say, okay, well, this meets here, and I can look at numbers and say, well, this number generated by this person or this okay. personality. You know, so um, and we were able to make a great team doing those things. So we kind of relegated us to each department where we at least had our goals. We each had our. We even had meetings. You know, we had okay. a table, and we were sitting our budget meeting. We were writing our P and L and our goals and our vision. You know, for the business, for the family, we did all that together. You know, so that way we have a clear, sort of goal and one voice. You know, not where she's going this way and I'm going that way. Mm-hmm. We're together and we have a plan. It's not easy because sometimes we're on two opposite sides of the spectrum. But in a great marriage, compromise has to take place. Now, my question on top of that would be. You started out with the business as yours, mm-hmm. and then you guys made these plans together. Mm-hmm. So at any point where you like, well, look, I run this. It's my business. Oh, uh, every day, <laughs> twice <laughs> on Sunday. And she politely reminds me, I'm married. I get half anyway, so I got my say-so. All right, all right then. Check <laughs> Yeah, all right then. As they say, it's cheaper to keep it. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. All my kids, man, I had to work 17 jobs, man. Child support to kill me, man. How many kids do you guys have? We have five kids. Five. Ooh. From 22 oh, to 5 years old. your wife. Mm-hmm. And then, and then Wait my a minute, wife. hold up. You said from where? 22 is my oldest. My youngest is 5. <laughs> I said it too, sis. <laughs> yeah, I really like my wife. I really like <laughs> You her. really love I her. Mean, <laughs> I have a beautiful wife, and, and it's amazing. Like, she doesn't look her age at all. Like, people think she's in the late 20s, early okay. 30s. She's 42 now. Oh, she going to um, be like, do she tell her age? Do she tell her yeah, age? Yeah, she's probably her age. She's, okay. My wife's about 6'1". You know? Oh, you got you an Amazon. Yeah. You got you a style. Yeah, you know. Take you know. some of that height. Superwoman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So she, I mean, I, I, that's tall drink of water right there. I like okay. that. Okay. You know, and you've so. been drinking it for 22 Ooh, years. Ooh, I'm sipping it all. I'm sipping it all, you know. And he's still thirsty. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, I don't, wait, I'm not thirsty. Hold on. I'm not thirsty the whole lot. You got to be thirsty for your wife. I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool. You better be parched. Like the Kool Aid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. So you walk me, in, you better be parched. Okay? Let me ask you this for because 23 years of marriage is a long, long time. Mm-hmm. So, what do you guys do to get through that bumpy road, that bumpy cycle that you go through that people say? So, here's the thing I tell people to be married, you must first be complete. 
and the marriage ass was already completed. So like you buy a car, you take up the light, it's fine. You make it the windows tinted, you make it the, uh, get the new stereo system, put some rims on it. But without any of that stuff, the car still drives. What happens is people in a relationship ain't complete. They're not mm-hmm. ready. And mm-hmm. you got two broken people saying, this is my better half. Mm-hmm. You got to be a whole. So when we got together, um, we were both whole people. She was already established. You know, she, she worked two jobs when I met her. That's nothing that attracted me to her. She walked into the restaurant with this uh, long black dress on, skirt, black skirt, had on this pink top, low cut, um, had on these high heel shoes. And she's already about 6'1". With the heels, she's like 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, yes. I'm honey. like, hey, oh, uh, uh, baby, you know, I was <laughs> excited, <laughs> man. And, and she didn't like me. Everybody liked me. I mean, everybody liked me at the time, too. Everybody liked me. I was, I, I went from a cook to a kitchen manager in about two weeks. You know, oh. so, yeah, I, I was pretty good, you know, so. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're going to get back into that story. Yeah. <laughs> Check us out, yeah. Well, hey, guys, we're going to take a quick recess break. Stay tuned to rollnut.com slash lifting cognac or my bank page coming up. With customizable streaming TV from Xfinity, watch the most free TV shows, hit movies, and live sports on the go. At home, access Netflix, YouTube, and Pandora right from your TV. And with the X1 Voice Remote, just say it and see it. Show me HBCU. With Black Film and TV, watch your favorite college entertainment, HBCU football games, and much more. Xfinity. Simple, easy, awesome. Hey, it's your girl, Lipstick. And it's your boy, Cognac. And we are... Lipstick and Cognac, your dynamic relationship duo where we talk all things relationship every Tuesday from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on RollingOut.com and Rolling Out Live via Facebook. Y'all, what we talking about, Cognac? We talk about it all. We talk about the cheating, the people that do right, don't do right, the people that might want to slap your head on your mama, your daddy, your sister, your uncle. I don't know about slapping my mama. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but we gonna talk about it all, y'all. Make sure you check us out every Tuesday. It's gonna be lit. It's gonna See be a fun there. time. Ow. With customizable streaming TV from Xfinity, watch the most free TV shows, hit movies, and live sports on the go. At home, access Netflix, YouTube, and Pandora right from your TV. And with the X1 Voice Remote, just say it and see it. Show me HBCU. With Black Film and TV, watch your favorite college entertainment, HBCU football games, and much more. Xfinity. Simple, easy, awesome. Tuning in to Lipstick and Cognac, your host of Adult Conversation with an alternative twist. A judgment-free zone where we discuss all things relationship, no matter if you are a ruler. A rainbow or a a unicorn. unicorn. Speaking of unicorns, we are your unicorn today since... Cognac don't like calling straight people unicorns. So make sure you follow He's these unicorns. <laughs> I'm talking about we are the unicorns today. Oh. <laughs> make sure you follow this uni- these unicorns at Lipstick and Cognac on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook, as well as Lipstick and Con- underscore Cognac on Twitter. Today we have Chef Daryl Johnson, a.k.a. Mike. A- a.k.a. <laughs> Big Mike. A- Big, Mike. A- Big, Mike. <laughs> Big Mike. Big Mike. Big Mike. Big Mike in the house. Big Mary Mike for the ladies out there. <laughs> yeah. 22 years, black 22. love. Well, we left off. You were just talking about how you get rid of the bumpy roads within your marriage mm-hmm. and, you know, we'll pick that back up. Right. Um, so, um, again, you had to be complete, you know, and, and we take time to work on ourselves. You mm-hmm. know, we have us time and I have me time. She has her time. Yes. You know, I think that's so so much important to balance. Like, there's time. You know, <clears throat> give an example. When she, um, I've been on the road a lot. You know, once the show aired, people wanted me to go do these things. So I've been on the road basically from July till, to from end of June all the way till probably about two weeks ago. So I said, hey, honey. And that's you, money. You've, yeah. You've had the kids. <laughs> um, tell you what, go to Vegas for a weekend. Oh. And chill out. You go to Vegas. Take my sister with you. Y'all go to Vegas. Have fun. Nah, she had to bring the out. sister. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> some, and she probably wanted to. <laughs> no, but look. Do you, do you teach husband boot camps? I can see Look, I would have said this. Did your sister come help watch these children? <laughs> 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 you know, but they're really close, and neither one, neither uh-huh. one goes by themselves. So okay. I mean, they're, they're women. They're, it's Vegas, you know. So, I know. 
Yeah, but she went to Vegas. Um, and just took she took she left on a Sunday, came back on a Thursday. Ooh. You know, so I mean, she had time you to unwind, relax. Um, I picked up from the airport, met her with a dozen roses in my hand, told how much I missed her. She came home, the house was clean. You know, the kids had been bathed, they had been, everything was done. You know, so just appreciate her being that. Now this weekend, uh oh, I'm going to hang with the fellas. You know, okay. I'm going. To, I'm, I don't want to go to Vegas. And that is so important. I feel like, and I hope I don't get if I get married because I, I'm listening right now, and I like me time. Mm-hmm. Oh, you do, ma'am. Me time because mm-hmm. we live together. So I feel like that balance y'all off. It make you miss the person. I cannot mm-hmm. wake up and see somebody and work with somebody. Like no shade to you, mm-hmm. but like I, that would drive me crazy. Mm-hmm. You know, it works at different strokes and folks. Mm-hmm. But you know, <laughs> you can wake up with me air day. <laughs> Hell no! <nah. laughs> I, I don't we can't care who. Work together every day. <laughs> I don't care who you are. You are, you do not want to see the same person every day, all day. It it it, it really yeah. You get what I'm saying? You. Absolutely, no, it I get. You. I'm just yeah. you know, and, and we have we have our boundaries. So like in the <laughs> restaurant, she can be in the office. I'll be in the kitchen. She be in the dining room. I'll be mm-hmm. in the office. You know. So and we try to keep professional as possible in the restaurant. There are times when you know I was like, "Come here, babe. Let me come in. Let me get. Let me holler at you real quick." He, you know, that baby in. came out. Yeah. You heard that? Yeah. Come he from New Orleans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That time when she just looked so good, man. Like, come here. Oh, what was that, baby? Look, come holler at you. Ooh. You know. Okay, there, so before we get too far into that, let's go on and switch gears because we got to talk about the cherries. Sure. So part of part of what makes you special and unique as a person is the fact that you give back. Mm-hmm. So for so the guys important. that do not know, Chef Daryl. Mm-hmm. Big Mike. Big Mike <laughs> provides opportunities for students and interns who want to become a culinary chef in any form. He opened up his kitchen to interns to help build and utilize their level of skill and passion for cooking as he knows the opportunities and resources in his area are slim. One of his protégés include Food Network's Chopped Junior star, Owen Osborne. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, you got accolades. <laughs> How does that work? So <laughs> Owen came to me when he was about seven years old. And I did this thing called Cookies Aww. for Santa, where all the kids from the area, from the area can come in, teach them how to bake cookies, and we box them up for them, and then take them home, put them on the mantle. Mm-hmm. So he came through and said, hey, I want to be a chef. Um, and um, so he uh, came to me, started teaching classes, and started showing them stuff. And he he won so much stuff after that. He won the Uncle Ben's Challenge. He won the Healthy School and got cooked for Michelle Obama. You know, so, and he done, he's done Master Chef Junior. He's done, done uh, Chop Junior. I tell people, if you're going to mentor somebody, mentor somebody who um who can teach you something. I mean, he teaches me like I teach him, you know, so mm. he's one of, he's a great kid. He's the future of our industry, in my opinion, you know, oh, so wow. I want to, I want to continue to give back because reciprocity is the heart of who I am, you know, so, um, but I, I take any, any ages, you know, um, kids, adults, anybody want to teach, anybody want to go into color and field, you know, I, I really love what I do. Um, I think I'm pretty good at it, so I want to teach and make sure I give back. Okay. So, so what inspired you to give back to the community through your kitchen, and how many children have you had an impact on? Okay, so my great grandmother was a chef. Uh, see, you make that <laughs> great granny. Uh, great grandmother, yeah. <laughs> and and down that's warm water. <laughs> <laughs> and um, sh- cooking saved my life. You know, I was grew up in New Orleans when it was the murder capital of the world. You know, a lot of my friends dead in jail or just getting out of jail after 20, 20 25 years. Mm. Um, and for me, I was going the wrong way. And my great grandmother, you know, she had a bush knife like about this long, and she said, "Boy, some Jamaican type stuff, man." <laughs> she said, "Boy, get in this kitchen, all right? I'm um, a kid, you buried in the backyard." I'm like, "Oh yes, ma'am." You know, and she pulled me off the street. She pulled me out of a, a bad situation, and I fell in love with cooking. I mean, just creativity, taking raw material, taking something that's nothing and making that beautiful thing and somebody puts in their mouth and their eyes roll in the back of their head and they reminisce about all those memories. And I mean, it's it's amazing. Oh, wow. You made that sound like a whole nother type of experience. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good cooking is orgasmic, I'm just saying. Well, let's get into this letter, Lipstick. Okay, <laughs> so we're going to change gears. Dear Lipstick and Cognac, my husband and I have started a business together. I handle the numbers. He handles the salesmanship aspect of our business. As of recently, I have been coming up with the ideas to take our business to the next level. He does not seem to be on board with my ideas. And as a result of bumping heads at work, we've also been bumping heads at home, too. Oh, Lord. (laughs) Our arguments have been way more frequent than ever before. I don't want to be silenced for giving my ideas, but I also want us to keep a healthy relationship. What should I do? 
Well, we always let the guests go first. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I think that one thing that a lot of he women. He's right on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I know the answer. I think one thing that a lot of women have forgotten that there are times you have to let a man be a man. You know, mm-hmm. there are opp- opportunities where as a woman you can do things, um, but if your role is clearly defined, it's the role of a man, you got to let him be a man. Even in the workplace, you know, he's salesmanship, she's numbers. Okay, well, numbers is kind of just the objective here. I, these are what I think. And salesmanship is more the creative side. So if they clearly find their roles and she has ideas, okay, well, now you must restructure yeah. how things go. You can't leave things in the way it began and you want to change it. Um, so, but in this opportunity where she's asking the question, she's got to let them take the lead. You know, she's got to let them take the lead. You know, I don't know if they're 50 50 business partners. I don't know. But the salesman is the guy out front. He's the guy at the face. He's the guy that's kind of people know. And the mm-hmm. numbers person stays in the back. So, as a face, he has more to gain or lose from a bad decision. Yep. You know, so as a person in the back, you write it all, well, I'm going to the office. You know, so I can see where he wants more input. She may be better at it, but yeah. they got to restructure how they go. Mm. Okay. Well, you want me to go, sis? You can go. Well, I have a different um, answer to this question. For me, I get what you're saying. A man is to a household, let him lead, do all them great things. <coughs> but if your wife is coming up with good ideas, mm-hmm. and sometimes men are jealous. Mm-hmm. And Lipstick, we had a good show about that. Sometimes he was like, well, damn, I didn't think of this. So I'm going to keep backing up. So I'm like, you know what? Let's do this. Mm-hmm. It's okay to say, hey, babe, let's try this idea. Mm-hmm. If it don't work, it's okay. Y'all can still keep moving forward. I feel like sometimes we just want to be, I'm the hit, I'm the winner of this, and, like, you good, but I'm the fourth. Like, it's okay to share. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? And if y'all are married and y'all love each other and y'all understand each other, let her do it. If it don't work, it don't work. That's all I got to say. <laughs> well, <laughs> as the only woman up here, <laughs> I agree with both of you guys because it, it, you have to consider what type of man she's married to because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. if she's married to a rational man your i your your i guess what's the word i'm looking for your advice would work if she's married to somebody who's just it's my way or the highway then she's dealing with the type of person you're dealing with or maybe dealing with then that may uh you're gonna have some other issues however this is how i deal with my man and this is how my mama taught me sometimes your idea is not your idea it's his idea And you have to let him think that it's his idea and he came up with the idea, even though you came up with it. Why, though? But that's just keeping peace. You got it because you got to let him be a man because he's going to be a man man regardless. So you just have to finesse (laughs) your way and sweet talk him into thinking your way. Stop the sex, sis. I bet he listened. No, (laughs) do not do that. I'm a strong, I'm not, I do not believe in using that. That's manipulation. I don't believe in using that. It works sometimes. I mean, in extreme circumstances, yes. I mean, but that's just because y'all having disagreements and not. No. So put some good old lunch right be like, oh. As a matter of fact, <laughs> it might work in the opposite. You might need to give him some True. and then bring up that idea True. and it might work in your favor. But y'all, I might have to package that game. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, guys, we're going to take a quick recess break. Stay tuned to rollnot.com slash lifting koyak. Or will not Facebook page come another it's a game. With customizable streaming TV from Xfinity, watch the most free TV shows, hit movies, and live sports on the go. At home, access Netflix, YouTube, and Pandora right from your TV. And with the X1 Voice Remote, just say it and see it. Show me HBCU. With Black Film and TV, watch your favorite college entertainment, HBCU football games, and much more. Xfinity. Simple, easy, awesome. Hey, it's your girl, Lipstick. And it's your boy, Cognac. And we are Lipstick and Cognac, your dynamic relationship duo, where we talk all things relationships every Tuesday. From 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. On RollingOut.com and Rolling Out Live via Facebook. Y'all, what we talking about, Cognac? We talk about it all. We talk about the cheating, the people that do right, don't do right, the people that might want to slap your head on your mama, your daddy, your sister, your uncle. I don't know about knowledge. slapping my mama, <laughs> but we're going to talk about it all, y'all. Make sure you check us out every Tuesday. It's going to be lit. It's going to be a fun there. time. Ow. With customizable streaming TV from Xfinity, watch the most free TV shows, hit movies, and live sports on the go. At home, access Netflix, YouTube, and Pandora right from your TV. 
and with the X1 Voice Remote, just say it and see it. Show me HBCU. With Black Film and TV, watch your favorite college entertainment, HBCU football games, and much more. Xfinity. Simple, easy, awesome. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to Listening in Cognac. If you have missed our lovely show today, make sure you catch it on the replay. We have had Chef Daryl Johnson, Big Mike Big in the Mike building, in the talking hey, about hey. 22 years of marriage. So, ladies, he is taken. But he's Black allowing love. us to call him Big Mike for today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So today, do you want to introduce our game? Yes, we have Kiss Tipsy Date or Pass. So, Chef Daryl, mm -hmm. how that works. You pull a name. If you like him, you just say, I kiss him. Now, if you want to, before you got married, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're going to say tips and night. Right. If you be like, uh, pass, you, 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 you good. I, can, I love that every time. <laughs> Wait, let, do, let me do the whole visual. <laughs> <laughs> So let's think. It's real right now. <laughs> let's think. I'll start it out. We gonna start with you. You will. You hold this. I already picked mine. I haven't looked though. We all gonna answer though, but she just pulled first. Yeah. So whoever pulls answers first, and then we go down the line, yeah. and you just keep going. Mariah Carey. Y'all already know I'm passing. I pass on all the women's. <sighs> Except for one. I know who. <laughs> oh, I won't know who. Oh, but okay. But I, I'm gonna kiss. I'm gonna kiss Mariah. I'm going to kiss Mariah. You gonna just kiss it all that money? I thought you'd do no, more than that. Mariah done got old. Yeah, she didn't got around. She didn't been around too. Right, well, me Mariah done got old. <laughs> no shade. I love you though. Hi. <laughs> no. <laughs> As a side note, Joe. <laughs> all right, so it's my turn, I guess. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's see who I got. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Pass. Who is that? You gotta read oh, who it is. Viola Davis. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> who is the same one more time? Viola Davis. Oh. Oh hell no, I'll pass it. <laughs> I'm gonna pass. Viola Davis. I, I love you. But we gonna pass. <laughs> <laughs> Lipstick on no. you. I'm going to pass, but I kind of want to give a kiss just because y'all was saying pass so fast. No. Oh, the way he said hell no. <laughs> no. Nah. I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. Keep going. Okay, let's read this handwriting. Serena Williams. I'm going to say pass. <laughs> um, this All that junk in the trunk. Hell no. <laughs> Don't act. I'm going to pass, though. No, nah, I'm going to. Uh, <laughs> 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 hey. 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 I forgot she's tall. He's like a tall. Olympia, I know you said that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Olympia, yeah. Uh, yeah <laughs> for Mike. real. Big Mike in the building. I cook too. Yeah. <laughs> Be like on Baby Boy, scrambled eggs, bug nigga. <laughs> she never win another game. Keep she won. Fifty pounds overweight. There you go. You can, uh, you cook vegan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She be she be good to go. Oh, Jada Pinkett Smith. She might be too little for you. I passed though. Hmm. Jada Pinkett. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is Will coming? Ooh. <laughs> oh, hold on. Oh. Like, damn, we might work stuff out. You know my husband like little women. I like tall men. Swing situation. Ooh. <laughs> Playing a little tennis pass. All right, switch. Um, I'm going to kiss Jada. I like Jada. I'm going to kiss her. I'm going to say Tiss and I. I always be in love with Jada. Jada. I always be in love with Jada. She's a little too little for me. Jada Pinky. <laughs> Hey, now. hey, I'm 245 pounds now. I'm, uh, <laughs> Miss <laughs> Peach just could have handled hey, it, though. He I'm, don't want to break you. <laughs> yeah. Uh -uh. Oh, you want to fuck? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see what I got right there. Oh, yeah, Angela Bassett. That, that's she little? <laughs> but that's Angela that's Bassett. That's Angela Bassett, though. <laughs> that's a difference. That's, 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 that's. I, I understand because that's my spirit animal. When I get mm. her age, I want to be like that. Yeah. She but she about five three for real. Hey, look, that that's Angela Bassett. That's that's. No, he, oh, I'm, <laughs> you know, I already know I'm passing. Well, what? I would say Angela Bassett. I would actually do Tipsy Night. Mm. That'd be the first older woman I have really? sex with. Now, is mm. it Angela Bassett? Which one? Are we talking about Tina Turner or Stella? Stella. <laughs> I'm talking about Vampire in Brooklyn. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that one. Yeah. Hell, I even take the one that she did. Uh, what's the black movie? Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Auntie. Cardi B. Tips at night. <laughs> hey, it's not off. This might surprise 
I'm going to pass on Cardi. Uh, that ain't Ooh. no damn surprise. I'm going to pass on Cardi. <laughs> Cardi? Ain't my flavor. She a little, Her words she just a nasty. You like, that be nasty ratchet sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to pass on Cardi. All right. Oh, J-Lo. Jennifer Lopez. Pass. Oh. Mm. That's it. That's it. We done. I had a crush on J-Lo back in the day, Jennifer from the block. But the new Jenny, I'm going to pass on that one. I don't what? know her either. I'm going to pass on that one. As, as they said, as they said, color purple. I don't know her either. <laughs> so we gonna pass. What? I like the old. If it's the old J Lo, I'm talking about Jenny from the block and living color J Lo. Oh, I'm all oh, in. Yeah, yeah, when she yeah, was black. Yeah, yeah. I don't that, know that, who this that new one is. Then, you well, know. when you worth millions of dollars, let me tell y'all something. I ain't gonna change my complexion, but I'm gonna be a new person. I'm going to talk. You don't use better. the black community to get with the way you wanna go, sis. I didn't say that either, I'm but done. I'm not gonna be the same. <laughs> well. <laughs> She's just eating better. I'm just saying, well, Chef, we're going to ask you, where can people follow you? What you got going on? Awesome. So a couple <laughs> things I got going on. So I have a cookbook. It is called Nola Creations. It is the signature New Orleans cookbook. You're going to find recipes, self-explanatory, um, breaking down real easy. I also have a lot of seasons, blackened seasoning, Creole seasoning, and seafood seasoning. All of them is it the stores? No, on my website, nola-creations.com. Say it one more time. Spell it for the people. N O L A hyphen C R E A T I S O N S. That's not right. Hold on. It's creations. Yeah. Nola's dash Nola. This is where his dash wife creations. come in. Yeah, yeah. What's she at, baby? Look, help me up. Like, baby, come talk. Step in here and talk yeah. about me. Uh, um, I'm also doing a, uh, a restaurant takeover in McDonough, Georgia this um, Thursday. Um, we have three sittings. Take it on the website again. I'm not going to spell it, but take it on the website again. Um, 6 p.m., 7.30 p.m., and 9.30 p.m. Five-course meal. We're doing it. We're doing it a five-course meal. Oh, well, did we get to come in? For <laughs> 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 no luck creations, baby. Uh, we just going to show up and say we was invited. Mm. <laughs> I think I'm like, where's your ticket at? Security. <laughs> security. <laughs> I'm well, from New Orleans, baby. You know what? I want to leave off with this. Since you've been married for 22 years, what are some advice you can give to the people that's watching to keep that black love keep going? You got to keep it reinventing yourself. You know, I think that my wife challenges me, I challenge her. You know, and that you have to be okay with that. You got to have to be mm. secure in myself when she says, hey, honey, I need you to fix this. And I tell her, hey, babe, I need you to fix this. You know, so I see her truly, and she sees me truly. And our greatest turn came, I think, about year seven. We said we're going to be completely honest and open. No lies, no to see she has my code to my phone. Everybody's not ready for that. So nope. don't rush into it if you're not ready for it. But when you get to that point, it's only uphill from there. You know, so being open and honest hundred um, percent. and let's say she meets a guy, she at work and she sees a guy that's cute, she come and tell me. I said, Oh boy, you're kinda cute. I'm like, Okay, that's cool. If I see a girl, you know, about six three with a you know, I'm like, Hey honey, I saw somebody that was you know, and we can talk about those things. So now we're not sneaking and hiding and I got my phone in the corner and I'm trying to it's not like that, you know. So we're open and honest, and we're human. Yes. You know, understanding that she will see somebody that may be as attracted as I am, maybe, I don't know. And, <laughs> I, and I might see somebody that, you know, I might like as well. So we can just talk about those things. And then the, the caveat that we added to it, if I see something that I like, she can be that person to me now. Or if she sees something that I, if I, she sees something that she likes, I'll transform into that person for her. You know, oh. so keep it fresh. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Keep it real. Okay, well, so there if y'all you want it. to have 22 years of black love, it's open and honest and transformation. Mm. <laughs> Communication. <laughs> open and honest. Communication. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lipstick, where can the people follow us, Booby? You can follow us on Lipstick and Cognac. That is on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, Twitter, Lipstick underscore Cognac. All right, guys. Same time. Every Tuesday. Ow. 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 Ow.